What's going on, Tiger Tran Clan? Today we're coming at you with some more Kenshi, and we are in the night. We are attempting to run for our lives from all these insane amount of bugs. Thankfully, we've just, I mean, we took out the, the bug master not too long ago, and I wonder if we're still carrying him. Son of a Zitch was the one who had him in his arms. Yep, we still got him. This is great. That fat bounty, man. Spiders. So let us continue our journey on. I, I switched it to this option here. I was trying to actually figure out who's our slowest person. Because like, who are they matching against? I think it is Leroy. I think this is what we had figured out in the other piece. So what we'll do is we'll grab everybody here. And we're going to have them bodyguard Leroy. Because we already have splinted him up. And there's absolutely nothing we can do other than just start this grand adventure out. Wait, what? No, bruh. Wait, how would you get... To, if, like, let's say I told you to go here. It seems like he's walking back into <laughs> danger. I don't think this is the play. Is my camera messed up? Did I get, like, brought back into the game at, like, a weird angle? From the save? No, because that's, that's the huge body of <laughs> villains that we've slain. And I'm pretty sure we were attempting to retreat this way. So let's, uh... Oh, gosh. Are these guys going to come after us? Man, it's still so strange that we found that chest full of human teeth. That was so weird. And our beasts are just crunching away on him. Hopefully not gaining a trait for cannibalism. Oh, my gosh. Because I thought this is, was... Oh, maybe this is why they're attempting to cut back this way. Because I think you have to go up here and then down through this this chasm. If I remember correctly, maybe that is why Leroy is attempting to go at a different angle. But let's speed it up for now, just because Leroy moves at the speed of Anti-Zeus. We are going to put him on passive and block for now. Oh yeah, Beast can't block, but... Man, that sucks that we can't splint his left leg. And if we get attacked, not a big deal. We'll kill these fools. And it looks like we just did. Alright. So... Attack all. And we'll slow this down so we can watch this delicious combat. Dude, I love the torches on the beast. It gives a cool uh, light. Wait, where's Kristen Jr. going? Is she like hunting some rogue boga? <laughs> Alright. Let's just get you back this way for now. We don't need you we don't need you going super rogue mode. Alright, I am so confused. They must have just taken out the one. There we go. I used the control shift F11. And was was thinking like, okay, is there some weird stuff going on in the background? I, I know you guys have told me that in the comments. And it does seem like it's caused a little less of an issue, even though there's so many bodies and whatnot. A boot. I almost wonder if we, yeah, we just have to, like, move as a group and just, like, kill absolutely everything that gets in our way. Oh, I really wish we could splint Leroy's back leg. This is bumming me out. But I guess he has one fully splinted arm. But you would think with with three limbs in solid condition, he'd be able to move relatively fast. I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking of all those videos of, like, the dogs with the uh, the three legs. It's, it's not like they're, they don't move like this. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So what we'll have, I think what we'll do is we'll just have Leroy keep moving. And then we'll have the rest of the crew just defend him. Thankfully, these bugs, look at this guy. He must be absolutely manhandled. Yeah. Other than his right foreleg and his left leg. But his other two are absolutely demolished. Get out of here. You stinky bugs. Dude, the reckoning has been real. I still don't understand why they won't do the auto forage job, though. That's the one thing that kind of bums me out. Oh, gosh, these keep getting up. Cut them down. Tell them to get away from our beasts. Just a flesh wound. Cut this fool down. Get away from Leroy. 
And then we're going to shift to attack all. Bam. Oh, there's K10. Kristen Jr. going in for the fierce whoopage. Dude, I love her charge attacks. They just do so much damage. Oh, what's up with Chiron? Oh, yeah, Chiron's on passive. He's our medic. So let's have him just keep on moving for now. And our crew will continue to 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 brawl. How's Jewel doing? Now that I think about it. So the question becomes is can Tiger splint? No. And this is why we have Gimli being picked up, because his left leg is absolutely destroyed. Now the question is, what about Tiger with Blade? Oh yeah, he could. Thankfully, for the most part, the AI does do a good job of picking up people who are attacking you if you're in the attack all command, which makes me happy. All right, so we just splinted his leg. Ooh, and see, and his stomach. This is the weirdest thing for me. I have no idea. I thought you, well, I, I don't think you can splint the chest, right? But I guess you can splint the stomach. And I know, you know, your legs, your limbs. All right, where is Blade and who's carrying him? Looks like Bologna is. So let's put him down for now. Hugh. Oh, my gosh. Hugh's, like, absolutely devastated. Holy cow. I wonder what uh, Tiger's skill is at right now. 51. Whole, or not 51. 81. Holy cow. First aid skills times 37. I mean, or is that speed? I don't know exactly how that all works. See, it says the crater, every treasure hunter's dream. But there really hasn't been that much treasure here. Maybe I've potentially missed something, but I'm at the heart of it. And we found the, the one structure that was just empty in the water. I mean, I guess we did get that ball or sword, and maybe that's the treasure everyone's talking about. And then maybe it's the bounty for the, the bug master. But every... Everything else is kind of, I don't know. You know, there's almost a part of me that wants to put down like a sleeping bag and just let Leroy maybe potentially heal up a little bit faster. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that always pops in my head, that oh, hello. I don't know if you guys have seen, it's like hilarious. Uh, John Mulaney and Nick Kroll have this Broadway play that they wrote. It's like critically acclaimed. I end up seeing it on Netflix, and it is hilarious. But they basically made up these like two cantankerous old men characters, Neil Faison and I'm, I'm forgetting what the other guy's name is. <laughs> But it, they're absolutely hysterical, man. Such good writing. I love John Mulaney, man. I've been following him for a while. He is just an absolutely absurdly hilarious comedian, wrote for SNL. And I think it's because I've been like watching like them on YouTube. And they have invaded my brain in a, in a very good, hilariously fun way. Not like mind control. Because <laughs> I've actually been watching this show, because I had watched it back in the day, True Blood, and then it got a little bit weird. Like, it was like, a, it got a little bit extra. And then, but then I love Supernatural shows because one of my favorite shows is actually, well, Supernatural, Jim and Dean. And uh, I think the reason I started watching True Blood was I was, I was getting that, that Jones in for a good Supernatural show. And all right, they're they're moving, they're moving slowly but surely. I I mean maybe ironically this might be a pace even that is safe from you know moving with the bugs and whatnot. I do wish you could pick up beasts when they were injured. That's one thing that kind of like semi bums me out. But dang, dude, look at Leroy. He's just so slow. This is absurd. 
there must be something weird about this zone. It are maybe there are spiders that we just can't see. Because it's weird. There's just like all of a sudden, like you'll see the game is just running perfectly. Oh my god. And see, I think it's this kind of stuff. The stuff starts spawning in on top of you. And I think it just absolutely demolishes the performance of the game. And it's really weird. But it only happens in this zone. Sometimes in the swamp too, when there's a lot of raptors roaming a booth, like if there's a bunch of camps. Oh, dang. Don't tell me you just punched Leroy. Oh my gosh, Leroy just got headshotted. That is so wild. We have so many people, and they the one person they randomly choose to attack is Leroy. That, those bums. Oh, Schmack got knocked out. Oh, man. What are the chances? He'll only be unconscious for a little bit, though. See, now, this makes me wonder, can we... See, look, no splinting of his stomach. Isn't that weird? I, I don't understand how splinting works. Sometimes you can splint the stomach. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes they splint limbs. Sometimes they don't. It must be some weird coding thing. And we'll even try the, the Control-Shift F11 thing. Oh, I just took a screenshot with my F12. Uh, I don't know. I, I always never felt like this worked for me. This whole nav mesh reset thing. Normally a little box is like when I see it on other people, because I've watched like a uh, tips and tricks for Kenshi, normally a box is supposed to pop up, but maybe that was in older modes. I don't know. It's really strange. Or maybe they changed it. Did they rebind it? I don't know. Weird. We're making it. Gosh, there is just, yeah, there is such a huge part of me that just wants to. Um, and no, we can't. This guy can attack us. He is scum. Don't attack Leroy. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, let's speed it up. I really do wish there was a, a better, like, bodyguard move option, though. Because it is painful to have your guys run by enemies. Or the same thing of, like, Leroy's not even on attack anyone. Usually the aggro system, I remember early on, was pretty good. I've been kind of Jones, in, and I talked. I think I had talked about it before, of maybe doing a new playthrough, though. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of bugs over here. Whatever. If they monkey with us, they're going to get cut down. Yeah, let's just cut them down. Oh, maybe not. Well, maybe well. You stray too close to us. I feel like this is exactly what happens when we're out in the wild and some of the AI's pathing is horrible. Like this one random dude was like, everyone else went up this way. And then one random dude's like, I'll go around this weird direction. It's like, all right. Well, you die for it then. Oh, well, that's weird. Wait, is Leroy moving even slower now? Are you kidding me, right? Yeah. All right, this is this is absurd how slow it is. So what we're gonna do is we actually will do that strategy. We're going to put down. Where is it? Camping supplies. So let's go ahead and just put down. Oops, wrong button. Just trying to rotate this. Let's put down three beds. Because I know Sh Schmott needs some love as well. And then we'll have Leroy take a powder. As well as, I think there was a third person who could definitely have used some love as well. Can Leroy sleep in beds outside though? That's the question. Oh, it doesn't look like... Wait, no. It doesn't look like he can, actually. So maybe he can only use... Well, maybe you can set him in beds. Hmm. Now the question becomes, then... 
Yeah, this is a bummer, dude, that you can't put beasts in bed. Here we go. Who else? More or less, I'm kind of like looking around and checking out their stats and kind of figuring out are there people maybe we don't even do this i mean the main reason we did it was because we wanted leroy just to get some health up here but it sucks oh my gosh look at that huge horde if they come at us they're getting a whooping all right so who's carrying you is it ruka it looks like ruka it looks like these guys are coming at us Oh, look at this big boy. Oh, he's an adult. Are they all adults? These guys look way smaller, don't they? Yeah, they are. This guy's like a... He almost looks like an elder. He's so big. All right. Well, thankfully our guys are coming. Going to give him a beat down. Oh, he got up instantly. I wonder if you have to take it, if you take jobs off and maybe you have to put them on passive or something. I don't know. All right, well, the main reason we were doing this was actually for Leroy, and I guess if Leroy isn't going to be able to be picked up... Oh, no. Okay, let's have him let's have him fall back. I don't want him to go this deep and aggro a million and a half guys. It looks like we pulled about half of that huge group. Like, look at Dr. Zill. Dr. Zill's like, yeah, I could attack this guy right in front of me, but I know I'm going to go for the, the Alpha Pack Master. 57 years away. We got an auto save coming in, looks like. There it is. Alright, so as they cut these guys down. Oh my gosh, no, stop it. Let us go ahead and dismantle these. And then, I think it was Volok, right? Was the one carrying him. Go get it, Volok. Perfect. How are we doing from a food situation? Oh, we still got plenty. Great. Rockley is out there being a one-man army. Get zerged. Naruto. Alright. So let us attempt to continue on this way. I feel like that big mountain would have something juicy. I hope, anyways. So the question is, is well, they're figuring out whatever way to get there. I don't... Oh, gosh. Alright, well, let's just... Why does it say put down Leroy? What would this do? Alright, let's just bodyguard him for now. Leroy, get moving towards this awesome mountain over here, and then we'll speed up time. Ah! This option. Just take you guys here. Take him out! The one lone nut. I wonder if that's actually the... No. I was like, I was wondering if that was the play. Is maybe just to have like four guys like this. And hope that the other guys are smart enough. Wait, are we running back? Is this the Bugmaster? What? Oh. Alright, well let's have everybody... At attack the Bugmaster. I guess we can do an attack all option. That's not that big of a deal. Because then they'll cut down this other guy as well. Ooh, look at this red rain. Is this acid rain? What does it do? Does it actually hurt you? Alright, so they're chopping that. Wait, where'd the bug master go? 
So it's weird. It, it almost seemed like Leroy went backwards to try to get through here. I mean, I'm just trying to get out, man. I don't care which way it is. I feel like this is the path out, though, right? I feel like if you follow here... Unfortunately, our, our team is starting to split up a little bit. I don't like this. Not one bit. But this is part of it. Like, now Leroy's take going back, right? So, uh, let's let's just figure out. I think this is the path out. So, I'm just going to do the manual control here. But now it looks like... See, that's the thing that sucks about this game. Is like you can't trust the... You can't trust the pathing. Which is a bummer because you need <laughs> you need pathing so badly. All right, let's find someone who maybe potentially isn't so injured that could carry. Gosh, it's gonna be far and few between though. So we're gonna first aid him because we definitely slashed this fool up pretty hardcore, and then we're gonna pick him up. It's kind of interesting is I don't know if they'll bleed to death, but there's like a part of me that just wants to like chop his legs up so that way he can't move. But I don't want him to die. But I don't want him like his legs to be healed. I want him to be like crippled. You don't need legs, get the bounty man. See, but yeah, isn't it? Aren't they aren't they walking the wrong way? Like aren't they walking the way that we just came from? Or maybe they're coming up this way. Uh wait. Oh, okay, no, never mind. This is the right way. I could have swore we came up this way, right? Hmm. All right, so he should be healed up and fine. Let's get back on Leroy. Dang, dude, this has just been such a brutal couple of, you know, or more than a couple episodes, man. Now people are so dang injured. I mean, that adds just another level of difficulty. But thankfully... Oh. Okay, no. Good. They're just doing the weird pathing thing. And of course, it wouldn't be Kenshi if we didn't get attacked by a bunch of turds. Alright, slow it down here. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Wow, Bean Hop with the cleave attack, though. I'll take it. Dang. Gotta love those green numbers. Dang, we're starting to hit hard, too. I love it. 58, 59, 60. Oh, so good. All right. Get back on body bodyguarding. Let me guys know in the comments if you found a more effective way to move. I, I feel like this bodyguarding is the best way of at least keeping them clustered together, but I just feel like the game's not smart enough to... Unless Leroy's the one who gets attacked, right? So... I feel like this is the best end around I found. Bodyguard to keep them close. One you get once you know some turds come, you you chop them up. All right, and then just yeah, then jump right back onto bodyguarding. Thankfully, with the stragglers, not that huge of a deal. Oh my gosh! Except when. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I... I think we're almost there, though, right? Are we almost out? It looks like that's a path out. It has to be a path out. Yeah, it has to be, right? Let's go. The one... Gosh, I hate you guys so much.
But yeah, it's like they're spawning on top of us. Look at they are. They're literally raining down from the heavens. <laughs> Thankfully, we absorb a lot of damage now. Oh, man. Could you imagine if they were, like, if we were even taking, you know, double the amount of damage? Yeah, let's go. All right. Hopefully, Leroy has made some good distance here. He has. We might be out of Arachne, which is, I think, the name of this zone. Land of the Spitas. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we finally are for all that is good in the world. Holy cow. I'm I'm excited not to hear the sounds of dead bugs as well. Though I we're still hearing it. Oh, we're firing finally far enough away. Now we're just hearing clattering sounds. Oh no, maybe not. It's over there. It almost looked like a bunch of dead bodies, but I think it's just a bunch of rocks. All right. That's cool. Oh, we're almost out, boys. We're almost out. Oh, wait, what the heck? So it's like Leroy's leg is injured. Let's have everybody, let's just cluster up here and do medical, just in case. It's been a minute since we had the, the time to do it. Uh, first aid. See, but this is the weird thing, right? We've got like a million and a half people on first aid, but still, for some reason, they will not do the first aid jobs. I, I don't get it. Thankfully, I mean, he's fine now. Oh, good. He splinted part of his leg. Do you think Leroy can actually move relatively quickly now? No. Well, he's at least healthier. So the question becomes is like, how do we get out of here? Can you get out of here? Yeah. Ah. Oh, we spoke too soon. All right. Attack all, and then we're going to slow it down here, because that's a big group. Don't want anything too crazy to happen. I don't like Kristen Jr. taking the front lines here. Let's have her, let's have her pull back. She's still super injured all over the place, so I don't want her to be moving at the speed of anti-Zeus. Another autosave coming in. All right. <laughs> I just love the way they move. They're like all slow and then they they take time to turn because they're so heavy. Oh man, I just love seeing our guys come in, chop these fools down. It's I love it. It's like like a wave crushing in. And I love how, you know, when the AI is intelligent and attacks the people who are in front first, and then, you know, continues to Oh my gosh, look how many spiders there. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Holy moly. I don't know where Bean Hop is going, but I don't want you doing any of this shenanigans, bro. All right, let's 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 just have him re-engage like this. So hopefully Bean Hop doesn't... I don't know where he's going. And then we're going to have Leroy. Don't even fight, bro. Just keep running. Never stop moving. We're not really running. We run from nothing. Except in the early game. Oh my gosh. Those were some brutal days. <laughs> oh, those remember the Raptors and you have like twenty Raptors on us when we had ten guys and you know, Raptors had five times our stats. Oh that was so brutal. That's like the one thing that makes me not want to play a man and his dog, but at the same time I, I, I do love the early game. I think it's pretty fun. Who's so confused. Oh, there's like the the one lone nut who's gotten up. That's fine. You can cut him down, guys. Just keep Leroy safe. Holy cow. This has just been an episode of pure combat. <laughs> pure combat all day and night, man. It's insane. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.